Um, good to see you again. Welcome to The Daily Show. Uh, it's the first time we're at a live event, first and foremost. I mean, amazing that you're here. I mean, having a United Women's event as well as a uh, Women's 2023 World Cup as well in South Africa is incredible for our future. So, yeah, no, I, mean, it's, I mean, it's great. I mean, um, you know, I was saying earlier at the function that Sunay and I went to the same school. And, you know, when we were still at school, uh, women's cricket was, was at that stage where you know she had to, to play in boys teams because there were no real girls teams for her to play and to see that in, in our cricketing lifetime to get to a point where we are now uh, a major women's uh, ICC major women's event is in, in our own country is just it's just incredible I mean we heard Mitali Raj talk about how she's going to be if you're heavily involved with under 19 women's cricket going forward with under 19 girls going forward and, and helping them how important is that for, for us as cricket for you guys as cricket to, to think about the next generation and help them come forward. I think it's vitally important. I think um, you know, another great thing that, that we heard today is how, how um, accessible the tickets are going to be, yeah. um, affordable for what everyone. Um, you know, and, that's, and that's a great thing because you want to encourage as, as many families, as many people to come out and watch these live live games because I, mean, I have memories of, of watching live cricket games when I was seven, eight years old. and. Um, that, that still stick it in my mind, and um, and that's what you want to sort of create. You want to you want to get, especially the, the, the next generation, to, to come out and experience that, experience that vibe, to see it live, um, and, and to realise that it's, it's, it's you know it's a access it's a accessible sport, and, and you know. If, if someone 10 meters away from you can do it, then, then you can also do it. Yeah. I was incredibly sad to hear when you, you picked up your injury. And um, so, how are you feeling currently? How's your mind feeling, first and foremost? I think that's the most important aspect of it. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a tough one uh, to, to, to miss out on the World Cup. Uh, the, the timing of the injury just, just wasn't great. Uh, but it's sport, you know, it happens. Um, there's not, no, not much sense in, in hoping about it. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm doing everything I can, I can to be ready as soon as possible and CSA is making a lot of resources available for me to, to recover as soon as possible and um, I'm about two weeks ahead of schedule so um, so yeah I mean you, you can just get up every day and, and, and sort of see see what you can do and, and, um, and take it day by day I suppose. Yeah. So is it 20? I mean I really congratulate you for a year. Um, so, so your thoughts on is it 20 as a whole? Um, how excited are you for it? As a, as a competition. No, it's great. I mean, it's yeah. It's, it's obviously about, like, in the third time that, that CSA is launching T20. Event. I think this one's yet to stay, and um, and, the, and sort of the way that they've done it is really is really exciting. And, and auction, obviously, for some guys went well in the day. Some guys didn't go so well. But um, you know, it's, looking at the teams, <laughs> there's some strong teams there, uh, some world class uh, outfits there, and I, and I think that's. The platform that, especially the local South African guys, are not going to have to showcase to the world the standard of cricket that we have in South Africa, that we've always had in South Africa, but internationally hasn't been broad, broadcast. And I think um, it's going to be a platform. I think it's going to be um, some some real local heroes coming through. And I think in in the in in the world T20 sort of circuit and the, and, and all the tournaments that are played. Um, you're going to see a lot more local South Africans playing that. And for, from regards to the protests, I mean, now going to the World Cup, I mean, words of encouragement to them, etc. Because, I mean, them has been going through a difficult time. I've seen, I've, we've seen it in press conferences, we've seen it um, online as well. It's been given a difficult time. A lot of players are happy. But going into any World Cup is you <laughs> that pressure from the fans. And I want to try to create some positivity around the fans going to this World Cup. So, words of encouragement from you and, and what sort of things that the pointers you can give to the guys um, as well, you know? I think it's just important to realize that the World Cup starting in uh, what, two or three weeks yeah. and, and to see it in context. Yes, you want to win every match that, you, that you're that playing for your country and you want to win every series. Um, but it's important to realize that um, you know it's a build-up to a World Cup and, yes. and you want to peak at that World Cup and you want, to win, you want to win that World Cup. So yes, we've lost this series now, but if we end up winning the World Cup in, in a few weeks' time, you know, it all, all be forgotten uh, in, in a sense. So um, you want to give yourself the best chance as a team to, to peak and perform at the right time. And, and, and that's, yeah, that's, I suppose, what we're doing now. We have a lot of options in the bowling. We have a lot of options in the batting. And, and I suppose the challenge for the, the selectors and the coach and the captain is just going to be to, to make sure we get our best 11 or 12 um, out there every match. And um, 
and, and from a mindset point of view, I think the guys, you know, it's two losses. It's not, it's not the end of the world. Um, I think we'll still go to Australia pretty confident. Mm -hmm. Lastly, um, this is a fan channel. So we're all about getting fan opinions and I'm trying to build a fan base that can rally behind cricket and help promote it. As a player, what would you like from us as, as, as fans, as fan pundits, with what we're trying to do at least is talk about just talk about cricket and allow everyone to grow. What can, how can we help you guys as players to, to motivate you guys? No, I think it's I think the forum to talk is just important. I think um, I think that's that's something that, that you guys have done really well always. Um, no, it's not. Uh, it's not. Uh, you, you don't. You don't want fans to troll players and to troll yeah. teams and, and and sort of yeah anonymity and say meetings, have, have opinions and. Uh, yes, you must have opinions, but but then stand by that. And I think what, what you guys have done really well over the years is you've provided a platform to, for, no matter what your opinion is, to to, to talk mm. about that. And I mean, there's no right and wrong. And, and as a fan, uh, us as players, we understand that 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 the fans are passionate about the game and, and they want to win and about the team. And, um, and everyone comes comes with their own opinion. Uh, uh, so I think keep talking about it. As, as a fan, keep engaging. Um, you don't want to be that that guy who just sits on the couch and abuses everyone. Uh, I think that's that's the most important thing. Try and understand also from a player's point of view uh, how it is out there. Um, obviously, you always try and get, be at your best and, and, and give your all for the team. It's sports. It's cricket. Sometimes going to happen. Sometimes not going to happen. It's it's just is what it is. It's it's, uh, it's, it's not real sense in, in, in abusing players and, and I mean as a player you also you also expect you come into this environment and you know there's going to be pressure you know there's going to be opinions about you and um, yeah and, and I mean I suppose to an extent that's what makes it fun as well you know exactly. fans are fans are passionate yeah. as are we the players um, I look at the teams that, that I support and I want them to win and I've got opinions about them and it's, it's the same as a fan. I think um, the fans are a massive part of any sport, but uh, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Okay, this is such an amazing question, and I'm mm -hmm. going to end it. But actually, how much do you guys in the men's dressing room talk about the women's game, and it's about supporting the dressing room for the women's game? Yeah, I mean, it's, I think the last few years, especially the women's game, has just grown um, unbelievably. Um, and and if you if you haven't seen it, you I mean, you, you've probably been stuck on the on the rock somewhere. So <laughs> and it's just great to see that I think women's cricket is one of the fastest growing sports in the world and maybe even in South Africa, I'm not yeah. sure, among among women. Um, and, and it's just great to make cricket accessible for everyone. Yes, true. It doesn't matter age, it doesn't matter gender, it doesn't matter race. You know, you, you, you have a sport here that, that covers all those demographics um, and, and that's the, the good thing. And um, yes, you, you can say that in professional structures, yes, maybe the women's game is still behind the men's game, but they're catching up very quickly. And, and if you look at the, the players we have and the, and the world players, it's, um, there's some world-class players out there and I think it's just going to grow. Rassi, thanks so much for giving me your time. I know you're busy, busy, man. Mm -hmm. Thanks Good luck so much. for the future. Yeah, and thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.